Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this session today we are going to see how we can run the test cases into different other browsers. So so far we have seen any test cases that we are executing it normally runs in our Chrome browser because the default browser that we have set if you see into this capabilities section it would be always the Chrome only that we have specified already. But think about I want to run into a Safari browser. How do I do that? Now it is possible in WebDriver.io you basically need to install a Selenium standalone NPM package. Now if I go to the documentation here so if you see that the Selenium standalone service does provide a way where all the browsers can be started by using this particular service. But in this current situation if you see into the package.json we are using the Chrome driver service only. So it means that it will run only on the Chrome browsers only. That's how the Chrome browser whatever the what do you call your Chrome driver is required that is basically controlled by this particular service. But when we are going to other different browsers it is normally possible by using the Selenium standalone. Now if I go inside the documentation it first gives a way to install that. So let's first try to install this one. So at this moment I will just take this so simply do this copy and then you open the your terminal. Now at this moment what I am going to do. So when I am going to install this particular what you call the uh, WDIO Selenium standalone service. Now this Chrome driver and this WDIO Chrome driver service is not required. Ok so first let's install this and then we will remove those two packages. Okay, so as you can see that the Selenium standalone service is installed and as I told I don't need actually these two packages. So I'm just deleting this one and also this Chrome driver. See in this case what we used to do when you were using this particular Chrome driver service you need to even install the specific Chrome driver as well. But when you're installing the standalone you don't need this one. The same thing I can also delete this one and then just save it and you can just make it as npm install or something so that the packages will be gone from your node modules. But at this moment it's absolutely fine. So as you can see the selenium standalone service is installed. Now what I'm going to do I will be going into the documentation first. So if you see that after the installation is completed we need to change some of the configuration. Now if you go to the services section now let me show you that in our WDI config. So if you see that the services uh, basically it is containing the Chrome driver. But at this moment we have removed that Chrome driver package right. So instead of that what I can use I can use this Selenium standalone. Now I'll just copy it and then I'll just paste it. That's it. Now this service will stay as it is. Now you can change any of the browser from Chrome to any of these things uh, any other let's say that I want to run it on Safari browser. Then I can just execute it here. Now let's try to see if it really first executes in the Safari browser or not. So for this there are a couple of things that you need to take care of that. So in my first uh, what do you call it? in my browser already the setup is done but I will show you how to really handle those things. Ok so you can see that this is actually my Safari browser. Now what you need to do the first thing you need to go to the, the Safari preference. Okay, so after going this make sure that you have this show develop menu in the menu bar is checked actually. Now once you are done with this then you can see the develop drop down is coming here and you just need to enable this one actually allow remote automation you need to just click on that and if you reopen it you can see that it is here. Okay, so that is the first thing that you need to do. So I have created a form filling one test case actually. Now I want to run this particular test. So npm run wdio. And you can see it is showing here as running in Safari. And you can see that it is coming and it should fill all the details. And then it should 
close the browser so that is how you can run sometimes you might get an error actually like this like let me show you that so i've just captured it a screenshot of this so like if you see for the first time when you are executing onto the safari browser you will be seeing like this so this safari window is remotely controlled by an automated test now you need to either do a continue session or stop session now what if you do a continue it will execute your test case if you stop session then it will stop your execution we don't want to do that right and anytime we don't want to manually click on the continue or stop so if you are getting this every time you're running your test case what you need to do you need to follow uh, some steps actually that i will be specifying here so if you go to this particular blog so here actually I have specified and this one actually we did while we were running the Selenium test cases into the Safari browser. But if you can see the first step I have already shown you that you have to choose the allow remote connection and after that you might be getting like this error right. So what you need to do you need to go back to your terminal and you need to copy this one. Now open your terminal and then you just need to run this particular what do you call command actually so sudo and then which would give you the admin privilege and then use your bean safari driver so this is where actually your safari driver is by default it is coming and it would be updating automatically you don't need to worry about that as your safari browser versions will be upgrading this driver will also automatically download it and one thing to note is that a safari browser will run only on mac operating system or your apple laptops only you cannot run it into your windows or linux so that's pretty much it for today. So hope this session is helpful. Now stay tuned. We will see how we can execute our test cases in other browsers as well. Thank you for watching.